God is saying to you, my child, I am at your disposal to listen to your heart. I have noticed that your words say one thing but your face says another. But I want you to know that I have the power to discern everything that happens in your life and I know everything that is harbored within you. I do not want you to continue living with the scourge of anguish. I do not want to see you suffer anymore. It is time to release the chains that torment you. Visualize yourself as a bird locked in a cage. The cage represents your fears, worries, and sadness. I am here to open the door of that cage and allow you to fly freely towards happiness. Trust in me. I want you strong, free, without burdens and as happy as the bird that finds its way to a clear sky. My child, I listen to what your eyes tell me. It seems strange to say it this way, but your eyes speak and clearly say what your soul feels. Your words do not match your expression. You can say nothing is wrong or I'm fine, but inside you there is great sadness. I know that the burden you carry weighs heavily on you, and although you do not say it, you wish to release it, and for that I am here to receive it. Remember this word in which I say, the young women will dance with joy, and the young and old men will join the celebration. I will turn their mourning into joy. I will console them and turn their grief into rejoicing. Imagine that you are carrying a heavy backpack on your back. Anguish is that backpack that represents your worries, anguish and pains. Although you try to disguise it, I know that its weight exhausts you and prevents you from moving forward freely. Do not fear letting it go, my child. I have the power to turn your weeping into joy, and I can console you. I want you to know that you can count on me. When you surrender to me, I can relieve your sorrows and fill you with peace and joy. Your life will be like a well-watered garden, and all your sadness will disappear. Just as a person who has been crying can be consoled and find joy in dancing, you too can find consolation and joy in my presence. Trust me, let me take your burdens and lead you to a place of freedom. I am here to listen to you, understand your struggles, and offer you my unconditional love. Together we will overcome what causes you sadness, and I will guide you towards a full and renewed life. I love you, dear child. Friends, sometimes I start to think about how the heart feels when for a long time it is enveloped in anguish. Sometimes it can be surprising to discover that there is an internal weight that persists despite appearances. As the well-known popular verse says, no one knows the procession that goes on inside. On our faces we may wear smiles, but in our hearts we feel a latent anguish. In life we meet people who appear to be happy and successful, but in reality they are going through moments of pain and anguish that haunt them and make them feel devastated. It is difficult to understand how much they wander through life showing false joy while carrying an unbearable burden. King David, one of the most emblematic biblical characters, experienced similar situations. We find in a psalm the following expression, Why am I so discouraged? Why is my heart so sad? I will put my hope in God. I will praise him again, my Savior and my God. 
He did not know why he was so downcast and troubled, but in his heart he knew that God was his Savior and that he should wait for him. These words of David reflect the internal struggle he felt in his heart. Although he was afflicted and confused, he found new breath by placing his trust in God. His comfort and his hope were in the divine presence of God, his Savior, and he was his reason for praise. If you ever feel cornered by anguish, draw near to God. He knows the secrets of our hearts and is able to heal the deepest wounds. No matter how long the anguish lasts, there is always room for hope. Each one of you, in the midst of any difficulty, will find sufficient rest. This is what the psalmist did. In my anguish I prayed to the Lord, and the Lord answered me and set me free. If God is on our side, what shall we fear? Let us make our hearts ready to call on our good God. He sees our confusion and extends his hand to us so that we do not live devastated. Let us incline our face to call on the name of the Lord. Let us pray, Beloved Lord, I come to you in search of comfort and relief. I am living a tremendous reality and I feel tired. I do not want to continue being a slave to anguish. I long to see my soul free from sadness and receive peace from you. Lord, I hand over my heavy burden to you. I feel that I can no longer carry it. You know each one of my days, both the joyful ones that faded long ago, and the sad days that I am living and that do not allow me to find tranquility. I feel that I am on the verge of exploding. Everything that I am living seems like it is going to crush me. Lord, there is comfort in your word when it tells me, cast your burdens on the Lord and he will sustain you. He will not allow the righteous to be shaken. That is why I come to place it in your loving hands. You will not leave me on the floor forever. You will sustain me in this moment of weakness. I ask you, Lord, that your strength be evident in my life. Allow me to experience your healing and liberating love. Help me to release the chains of anguish to come out of the captivity where it holds me prisoner. Take my sorrows into your hands, Father. Take my worries, fears, and sadness. Please renew my heart and fill me with your voice, even in the midst of difficult circumstances. Thank you God for hearing my cry and for being my strength in critical moments. I trust that as I lean on you, I will find the relief that I long for and I will be free from everything that torments me. I confess my exhaustion and weakness. For a long time I have remained silent, pretending that everything in my life is in order. But in the depths of my being, my soul cries and suffers in silence. Today I decide to hand over my pain to you and stop keeping it to myself, beloved King. I realize that even Jesus in the Garden of Gethsemane experienced anguish and suffering when he was very close to being crucified, and he demonstrated it by saying, my soul is overwhelmed with sorrow to the point of death. On that night, Jesus faced real agony, an experience that was not common for him. I understand that, unlike me, he did not remain silent at that crucial moment in his life. He opened his mouth and his heart, seeking the company and support of his Father in heaven. I need to follow his example, stop being silent, 
and seek your support in the midst of my pain. I open my heart and present to you my anguishes, worries, and sorrows. I ask your forgiveness for not seeking you and for remaining silent, prolonging my own suffering. I do not want to carry this burden any longer. I need to share with you my anguish and afflictions. I beg you to give me strength to express my emotions and find relief in your presence. I know that you are not far away and that you are willing to understand my pain. I completely surrender myself to you, confident that you can console me and renew my spirit. I hand over the frustration of my heart to you in the name of Jesus. Amen and Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, even on the worst days, hand over your struggles into God's hands. He is willing to listen to you. Do not underestimate the power of daily prayer, for it is through prayer that we connect with the source of all strength, our beloved God. Prayer is a direct bridge to God's presence make it a daily habit he longs to know us intimately to hear our voices and to provide us with his peace handing over the anguished heart to god implies trusting in him and no matter how worn out or discouraged you may feel god is able to renew your strength and carry you through any adversity Trust that he is in control and that your lives are in his loving hands. No matter how busy you may be, find a moment to communicate with God. He awaits you eagerly. He wants to hear your words and heal your wounded hearts. Lastly, I invite you to subscribe to our channel. Do not fail to share these messages with people who are going through difficult times and whose struggles are overwhelming. Never forget that God is aware of everything that happens to you. He knows every detail and desires to be a part of your lives. Blessings.